When the ADMS console is first installed, a default vault is set up called Vault. For the majority of companies, this vault serves the requirements well and can be used as the everyday vault from then moving forward. However, some companies require more customization of their vault or multiple vaults for multiple projects. The ADMS console allows the administrator to set up vaults as they are required. Creating multiple vaults is often beneficial for some companies due to the fact that they are completely separated from each other. Some companies work with highly proprietary projects and cannot risk data being accessed across projects. Also, with multiple vaults, administrators can set different users' access to each vault. Items such as revision schemes, part naming schemes, and folder structures can be completely and totally different across these vaults. Of course, the upsides of having multiple vaults can also be the downsides at the same time. Having completely separate vaults means you cannot reuse data. Settings from one vault are not easily transferred to the next. To create a new vault, open and log into the ADMS console. From the browser on the left, expand the vaults folder. Right click on the folder and select Create. In the dialog that appears, the first thing is to give the new vault a unique name. Once that is complete, choose where the file store is to be kept. The default location will be the choice selected automatically. However, if this is not where you wish the data to be kept, choose the Select File Store Location option and choose where it should be. Once complete, click OK to create the new vault. Once created successfully, you will receive a message box stating that the vault was created. Click OK and the new vault will now be displayed within the vaults folder on the left. If an existing vault had already been configured with part numbering schemes, revision schemes, etc., then by right-clicking on that vault, an administrator can choose Export Configuration. By saving this configuration, it can then be imported onto a new vault by right-clicking on that vault in the folder and selecting Import Configuration. This helps saves time by allowing some of the configuration and settings to be transferred across multiple vaults. However, note that these vaults are still not connected in any way. If the configuration of the original vault were to be altered, the secondary vault would not be updated. Vaults can be deleted as well by an administrative user. However, this step will permanently delete the vault database as well as the file store. There is no getting the data back after this step. So deleting a vault must only be used as a complete last resort. To delete an existing vault, again open and log into the ADMS console if you haven't already. Expand the vaults folder and then right click on the vault you wish to delete and select delete. A warning message will appear stating that the complete database and file store will be deleted. Click yes and the vault will be deleted. A message box will appear when it is complete stating that the vault was successfully deleted. Click OK and the vault will no longer be listed in the vaults folder. Working with, creating and deleting vaults should always be done by an administrative user only. Plans should always be put in place prior to taking these steps to best ensure the success of the operations.